when you went to WWE, because we talked about how you said I need to keep my music, and that was a big deal for you, keeping the the the, the Harlem Heat theme, changing yeah. it up for Booker T. Yeah. Um, when Keith Lee just made his debut on the main roster, they switched his music, and they gave him a more generic kind of rock theme, and they switched his ring gear a little bit up, and a lot of fans were upset. And it's so, so upset to the point Keith Lee had to even address it on social media saying, guys, you let me worry about this. Y'all worry about, yeah, you know, said, the music is out of my hands. That's what he said. I was reading yeah. it. And for the brother have to actually, you know what? He shouldn't have did that. that that's today's era. You know, the field feel like they got to sometimes, you know, um, make, make sure their, their followers feel good inside you know um but 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 something like that you know him getting some flack from the internet over wwe changing his music is ridiculous it really is ridiculous i mean i could see if um keith lee had gone through what what i went through which had i had my music for i don't know how many years before you know i got the wwe um you don't know 10 years plus at least 10 years um, I had that same music. Um, th that's a little bit different. Uh, Keith Lee is different kind of brother, man. And and I, and one thing I, I can say, I don't think this is something that's going to rub him or make him, you know, flinch or anything like that. Maybe um, get, you know, giving a shout out to his followers and saying, hey, you know, hopefully we can address. I think he said I'll address this later or something like that. Hopefully. Yeah, I think something like that. Yeah, um, but um. It's crazy, man. It's just crazy uh, when, when when social media drives the narrative of you know what's going on in your life. Um, there again, it was about me, my family, and 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 me taking care of them at the end of the day. And I'm and I'm I'm, I'm, I'm kind of glad I didn't have you know people on social media that was scrutinizing everything I did um, because I might have had to back to want to you know hit those characters and, and say something back as well, you know? So I'm just, I'm, I'm really glad I didn't, I, I, I didn't live in that era. Also it gets in your head as somebody who's come up in the social media era. When you see something that's said about you in a comment or something, you know, sometimes you, sometimes you throw it to the side, but sometimes you, you, you take it to heart and it starts making you question yourself. Like, Oh man, did I really sound like that? Or, Oh, did I really, you know, and, and you start second guessing yourself. And I think as a performer, especially in the ring, Second guessing yourself is the worst thing that could possibly happen. You have to be confident when you go out there. But my question to you is this: Did not even in WWE and WCW, WWE or TNA, any places that you work global, did they ever come to you and say, "Hey, we're going to change your look, or change your music, or change something about you that for you didn't feel right and may have altered your trajectory at all"? There again, man, I'm lucky I didn't have to come up in this era. Um, I, I'm, I'm blessed I didn't come up in this era because, you know, you do have so many people telling you, you know, do this, you know, do that. Don't do this. Don't do that. Run fast, run slow, jump high, jump low. <laughs> it just, it's crazy. You know right. what I mean? And there again, when I came into WWE, I remember um, being, uh, and I remember uh, hearing uh, Marcus Bagwell tell a story. Uh, it was about the night him and I wrestled in Tacoma, Washington. And uh, that night, Marcus Badwell, they say they told him not to go out and do his dance, not to go out and do any posing. Don't look at the crowd. Um, go straight to the ring and just wrestle. Don't play. And, and the thing is, people can say what they want to say about Marcus Bagwell, but that's a true story because they told me the exact same thing. Don't go out and, and high five any of the people. Don't do the spin of Rooney. Don't do it. Don't look at the people. Walk straight to the ring. Get in the ring. Work. You know, and the, and the thing is that those are those are people that's micromanaging um stuff. And 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 I would sometimes say perhaps they really just don't know. Um and there again, one person wasn't telling me um, you know, to do everything or not to do everything. It was several different people. And I remember I went to the boss back in the day. I, I mean I you know, right hand of the man upstairs, right hand, right hand to the man upstairs. <laughs> uh, I said, uh, boss, you know, if I can, can I get, can, can I get a meeting with you, uh, Vince McMahon? I said, can I get, can I have a meeting with you? And, I said, and he said, yeah, you know, I say, uh, I say, I said, Vince, I got this, 
I say, what, what's going on? I got this agent telling me this. I got this agent telling me this. And I got this agent telling me this. I say, now, I know I'm going to get fired that way. I say, so if you don't mind, if I could go out here and do my stuff my way, and uh, if I don't put, you know, behinds in the seats, just fire me, you know? I say, but my thing is, I want I wanted to get fired on my merit and, and my mistakes opposed to somebody else's telling me what to go out there and do. And um, there again, now Keith Lee is in a position to where, you know, somebody might say, hey, let's do this and let's do that, you know, and he might say, okay, you know. So you never know what – what the situation is um, as far as this goes. Um, but for me, I, I know um, you got to somewhere find a, a spot to where you feel comfortable um, at whatever you're going to be doing, you know? So I think Keith Lee was more comfortable making his debut on Monday night raw, you know, in a program with Randy Orton more than anything, you know? So if anybody looked past that, um, uh, they're missing the boat. Uh, uh, was it a little awkward as far as the uh, the uh, confrontation between him and Randy? It was a little awkward. You know, I'm wondering, I want to see more. I'm, I'm trying to see exactly where we're going here. You know, I'm wondering if Keith Lee is uh, part of the uh, the way you come out and talk from an opera uh, perspective. You know, I mean, he's got that, that you know, you know, but, but he, you know, takes the gloves off and, you know, but, but that, that moment kind of, you know, I was, I was a little perplexed about it. So I'm looking to see more out of Keith Lee. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to see more out of Keith Lee as well. And, and, you know, he's wrestling Randy Orton at payback this Sunday. And if there's anybody to make your debut against, it's a guy like Randy Orton, especially right now when Randy somehow has reached another little level in his career to where, He's telling stories. He's working at a very, very high rate. Like he's got something to prove. Like he's trying to prove I'm the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be, to quote yeah. Brett Hart. And he's doing a damn good job of it. So if I'm Keith Lee, I know, all right, this is this is a good way to come in. No, man, that's why. I, <laughs> I'm not going to be worried about people saying that I look like I'm wearing a skirt on TV. Look, look that's the last thing one should be thinking about is, what the people are thinking when I'm in, when I'm in the biggest when I'm in the biggest place of my life, you know. So many people make it about them and what they want to see. What about me? You know what I mean? This is the biggest moment of my life, and I, and this is what I got to listen to that you didn't like my theme song. Wow, you know what I mean? Come on here, life is so much bigger than that. And I just I just don't understand, you know, uh, you know why people really really believe in the and take the small stuff, you know. But 